after every event, you know, I would say we probably make eight to 10 passes on the engine. We'll take it apart. Sometimes we find nothing. Sometimes we find some pretty catastrophic stuff to where if we would have making a couple more passes, it would have been bad news. Um, it's the most power we've ever put to this engine. Um, 105 pounds of boost and nitrous. So uh, we're gonna take it apart, see what it needs and uh, check it out with me. Every time we tear an engine down, we're doing rings and bearings, minimum. Minimum rings and bearings. And then we basically keep track of how many passes the rods have on them. We keep track of how many passes the pistons have on them. And as long as we're within um, the service limit, which we've kind of developed over the years of racing, we'll go ahead and reuse that stuff as long as it checks out good and we're within that uh, service limit. So um, another thing we look at uh, that has especially been an issue is the small end of the rod and going into the piston so basically there's a lot of wrist pin capture in this design on purpose so basically that means that the wrist pins being captured by the piston and the rod a lot i mean there's a little bit of movement side to side but just just enough for oiling and for a little bit of movement um, of the piston so lots and lots of ring uh, wrist pin capture and the reason for that is um, the small ends of the rods tend to get deformed, ovaled out over time, especially when you're making, you know, 500 horsepower per piston per rod, which is basically what we're making here. 